Hi everybody, it's Chesney from Squiggle Fly, and I'm going to show you how to create a pattern in Photoshop. Uh, I'm using Photoshop CS5, and I know most of you who are using Photoshop are probably using Elements, so it's going to be just a little bit different than what you see on your screen, but you should still be able to follow along. So let's say that you found a great image, and you want to create a custom paper out of it, or anything that you just need it repeating over and over. Um, I have found an image that I want to use, and it is a tribal flourish, um, but you can use whatever you want. Just for the demo, I'm going to use tribal flourish. So you can go up here to File and Open, or you can click anywhere in the workspace twice, double click, and both of those methods will bring up the open dialog box. And I've got tribal flourish here, and I'm going to open it. Okay, and now squigglefly images we keep pretty large. They're a very high resolution. We keep them at 300 resolution because it's a much smoother, crisper, cleaner print. But it's a little bit big and it's a little bit cumbersome if you're just working with computer graphics with no intention to print. Um, I'm assuming that we're going to print. We're going to print custom paper, so I'm just going to leave that alone. And um, because it's paper, we're probably going to be using the standard 8.5 by 11 inches. So let's create a document that mirrors those dimensions. File and new. And then you get the new box that shows you um, what kind of dimensions and aspects and everything of your new document will be. Uh, you want it to mirror exactly whatever document you're printing on. Um, if you're printing on paper that's 4x4, four four, change 4 and 4. I'm going to assume that we're printing on 8.5 by 11, so I've got 8.5 by 11 entered. And the most important part is to match resolution and uh, to match resolution you'll want to type 300 in the resolution box because squigglefly images are at 300 resolution. It's probably a default of 72 but make sure that that's 300 and then click OK. Now this is what our blank paper will look like and this is the pattern that we want. So to make this a pattern we need to select this box and then go to edit and define pattern and you can name it whatever you want. I'll name it Flourish. And then click OK. Now how do I transfer this pattern over onto this paper? Well to do that we need to go over here to the Paint Bucket tool. And um, you may not have the Paint Bucket tool selected by default. You may be on Gradient tool. So um, if your icon looks anything like this, just hold this arrow here and it'll bring up the menu and then you can switch to Paint Bucket. Just make sure that you're on Paint Bucket. And then up here at the drop down menu where it says Foreground, you're going to change to Pattern. And the secondary box that's the drop down menu is where you select the pattern. And you'll see right here is the one that we just created. And now we can click in our new document and it'll fill it with the pattern that we made. And that's what our paper will look like. But let's say that I'm not pleased with that. I want it to be a smaller size. I don't want this pattern to be so big. I want it to look like tile. Well, I'm going to open back Tribal Flourish up, and now I'm going to make it smaller. And to do that, I need to go to Image, Image Size, and then I'm going to change it to Percent. I like working with Percent. And you'll want to check Scale Styles, Constrained Proportion, and Resample Image. All those need to be checked. And I'm going to scale it down to about 20% of its original size. So let's type in 20. And you'll notice that both boxes change. Whenever you type in 20 in one, 20 will appear in the other automatically. And then click OK. And now let's define the pattern again, the smaller pattern, the same way with Edit, Define Pattern. And I'll call this Flourish 2. I'm going to create a new document. It still has the exact same dimensions we entered last time, 8.5 by 11 at 300 resolution, and click OK. Once again, make sure you're on the Paint Bucket tool with Pattern selected, and don't forget to change it to the new pattern that we just created, this one here. The, the newest one that you create will always be the one closest to the end. And then you can click in the document. And now I have a much smaller pattern. And you can play with the sizes and get it to be as big or as little as you want. But that is how to create a repeating pattern in Photoshop. And you can do that with anything, including text that you make. Um, for example, 
I've gone ahead and made this a text file here just for demonstration. Um, you can do this just as easily on your own. Just create a new document any dimension that you want and type whatever you want wherever you want it. Go to edit, define pattern, call it whatever you want. I'll call it text. And let's say that we're going to print it out on a 5x5 five five piece of paper. So we change it to 5x5 five five and keep resolution at 300. And up here in our pattern, we'll select the new one. And then fill it. And now we've got a new paper that we just made all on our own. Um, so that's how you create a repeating pattern in Photoshop, and I hope that it's helped you. Thank you for watching.